step number three is to find the minor of A. So in order to find the minor of A, you have to work out one by one, starting with element A11. So remember, copy the original matrix of A, circle the element 11, meaning row number one and column number one. So draw the row line and column line. All right. Then what remains here, you do a cross multiplication. So we have negative 1 times 3 equals to negative 3, negative 1 times 1 equals to negative 1, so you minus, your answer will be negative 2. So repeat the same thing for element 1, 2, row 1, column 2, circle row 1, column 2, draw the row and column line, and then the the numbers remain, you do a cross multiplication. So 1 times 3 will give us 3, 2 times 1 equals to 2. So therefore we have 3 minus 2 equals to 1. So the same goes for A, 1, 3, circle, row 1, column 3, draw the row and column lines, and then the, do a cross multiplication here. So 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1, 2 times negative 1 equals to negative 2, therefore negative 1 minus negative 2 equals to 1. So repeat the same steps with A21, you should get 4, A22 is 1, and then A23 equals to negative 3, and then we have A31 equals to 2, A32 equals to 0, and finally we have A33 equals to negative 2. Now write down the whole answers as one matrix, which is the minor of A. So this is the answer. The next step is to convert this matrix to cofactor. So in order to do that, take minor A times the sign. Alright? So in this case, Negative 2 times positive, you get negative 2. 1 times negative, you get negative 1. 1 times positive is positive 1. 4 times negative equals negative 4. 1 times positive is 1. Negative 3 times negative equals positive 3. Then we have 2 times positive equals 2. 0 times negative 0. Negative 2 times positive will give us negative 2. So that is the cofactor of A.